Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will move to non-deterministic Turing mission. We already know the seven tuple representation of Turing mission: Q, sigma, lambda, delta, Q naught, B, F. You know the meaning of two terms: non-empty set of states, the set of symbols, set of tape symbols, transition function, initial state. blank symbol and set of final states for example in case of deterministic turing mission in case of deterministic turing mission the delta is represented as q on the set of tape symbols automatically every input symbol is also present in the tape symbol set of tape symbols so we have to move tape symbols left to right q cross that means on a particular state with any one tape symbol we are moving into only a single state with one tape symbol and either left or right direction so 1 to 1 this is the deterministic and coming to non deterministic in this case the delta only the variation is in delta q cross q cross sigma lambda that means on a single state with a single tape symbol we are moving into row here this is called power set this is called power set q cross sigma cross left right that is from a single state with a single symbol we can move to not only a single state we can move to any number of states that is the main difference between deterministic and non deterministic turing mission for example on state q with the input is a suppose a is replaced with some b and then move to right direction suppose q some r that is state q to state r if the tape symbol is a a is replaced with b and then move to right side direction this is the case of deterministic suppose in case of non deterministic q if the input is b on input b we have different cases for example b is replaced with some c move to right direction suppose some d move to left direction or some again b move to right direction suppose p r s yes. what is the thing the thing is on a particular tape symbol this b is replaced with either a c or d or again some b we have from a single tape symbol many number of possible cases this is the main difference between deterministic and non deterministic so before going further we have to know the meaning of a term configuration so configuration in the sense how do we represent simply the representation of the representation of entire state of a turing mission the representation of the entire state of a turing mission at a particular situation or at a particular moment simple terms configuration in the sense a turing mission at a particular state is represented in a string format simply if you want to represent in a string format what the string contains the string contains three things one is current state another one is current position of the head and the third one is the entire tape contains what is the meaning of this one if you want to represents the state at a particular moment in a string format the string contains all these things for example if this is the turing mission this is the turing mission a a b a b a and so on anything blank and so on anything how do we represent the string format assume if this is your current symbol a a b q a b a so see this one what is the current state the current state is q what is the current position of head 
the current position of head is a these are the entire tape contains entire tape contains this is the string representation this is the string representation now once we have represented in the string what is the main thing here the main thing here is how do it is in deterministic turing machine how do we perform the computation in non deterministic turing machine now the thing is computation thing is computation history in deterministic turing machine and non deterministic turing machine suppose a state is q from the state q assume we are moving into p and r suppose a a is replaced with b and then move to the right direction suppose b is replaced with c is move to the right direction whatever it is suppose some b b is replaced with some c move to the right direction assume assume this is the turing machine and this is the example of deterministic turing machine how the computation history assume these are the tape contains c c b a b c for example these are the tape contains what do you mean by this one right now i am at this position suppose c c q b a b c what happens first the transition is this one q on b q on b what happens b is replaced with b is replaced with c and then move to for example first i am implementing the right direction and then move to right direction c c b is replaced with c r a b c you got it move to right direction suppose r on a for example you have some other transition r on a a is replaced with c, some right direction so a r is replaced with state is r symbol is a so a is replaced with x so c c c a is replaced with x for example it moves to some state m m b c like this you got it this is the computation history that is how we are traversing based on the left direction and right direction suppose if it is a left direction instead of moving this one we are placing the m at this position placing the m at this position for example in the same case if it is a non deterministic turing machine for example consider q a a is replaced with or some x suppose p or p is replaced with some y comma r suppose a is replaced with y t u suppose c whatever it is i'm randomly writing assume this is some part of the turing machine this is the not complete part some part of the turing machine if your tape symbols are right now if your tape symbols are this one what is the meaning of this one state is q and the tape symbol is a q on a what happens q on a a is replaced with x a is replaced with x this is one possible case a is replaced with y this is another possible case you got the point c suppose if you are replacing it x and replacing with y different cases suppose c s c y b b c that means i am replacing replacing this a with y and then move to the left direction or another possible case is b b c replace with x and move to the right direction suppose in this case p on b we have only one transition that is c c x b is replaced with y and then move to right direction this is one case suppose in this case s on c again two possible cases suppose t c z y b b c this is one case another case is c w here what is the meaning of this one you can move to at any level that is each and every state we have multiple cases and finally once we constructing the non deterministic turing machine what are the outcomes what are the possible outcomes of non deterministic turing machine so we have three possible outcomes one is accept one is accept means 
if we have multiple number of branches if any branch of the computation if any branch accept then the turing machine will accept if any branch accept the turing machine will accept reject in the sense if all branches of the computation halt and reject that means if at least one branch is accepted means the turing machine is accepted if all the branches are halt and then reject that is no branches is accepted then the turing machine automatically rejects and the third case is loop loop means the computation continues that is the branching level is continues but but accept is never encountered we never encountered any acceptance that computation is continued so some branches in the computation may move to infinite in this case that is called loop okay finally see this one this is the difference between deterministic and non deterministic in representation and how do we represent a particular movement of the turing machine in a string format once you know the string format this is the computation history for its deterministic turing machine and this is the example for non deterministic turing machine finally what are the different outputs that may exist for the turing machine in the next session we will discuss check whether the non deterministic turing machine and deterministic turing machine have same power or not we will prove that one thank you